está. Sí, sí, está vivo. Sí, porque ya está grabando. Teacher. Hello. Teacher está vivo. Yeah. Teacher. Teacher, you are alive? Yeah, teacher. <risa> <risa> ya no hay algo que hacer. <risa> No sé qué pasó, es que internet está como que, you know, if it just is going to rain, es como que está, como que va a llover, entonces, maybe that's who caused the problem. No sé eh, Diosito, diciéndonos que lo vayamos a dormir temprano. <risa> verdad que sí. Después de la gente ha expirado. <risa> Bien, seguimos chicos, con este pequeño comercial. Zaire escribió, no sé si se volvió a conectar, pero escribió al grupo que se fue la energía en su casa. Zaire. Yo, sí, está súper mala la señal, la verdad. Eh, yo tuve una clase antes y, y sí, estamos, está, hay bastantes problemas con la conexión. Y eso que ni he oído, ni estamos en, en pleno eh, winter. We are not in winter right now, but oh, we know that. Bien, eh, this is what we're going to reach today, guys. Esto es lo que vamos a alcanzar al final de la clase. To provide instructions for actions or activities in simple commands. So, expression, for example, in our company, we have some leadership. So, de tenemos a veces liderazgo dentro de la empresa. We have some leadership and we have the opportunity to, um, to work in, um, in some things. We have the opportunity to work in some things. And we have like the, this capacity to give instructions as employees, as boss, as manager, as supervisor. So we got like this chance to give instructions. So for some people it's good. And we're going to have the first activity that is let's start. How often do you write memos? And how do you give, how often, uh, how do you, well, actually what, I don't know what you write that. How often do you give instructions? Yes. Teacher. Yes, yes. Your voice has echo. Mm. I know where it comes from. Let me check. Um, ahora? Escucha lejos. Uh, quiero ver. Quiero ver si escucha lejos. Eh, quiero ver. Igual, se escucha igual. Es better. No sé si solo yo tengo el programa. ¿Cómo, cómo no escuchan los demás? Sí, sí, bien, pero cortado, se escucha. ¿Cómo? Como cortado se escucha a lo lejos. Como que tiene eco, teacher. Ah. Okay, déjenme ver, va a haber un sistema diferente. Eh, quiero ver. Microphone. Quiero ver, voy a probar este. ¿Ahora? Con... Repeat again. Oh, oh, vamos a ver. Eh, ¿Con este? It's a, it's clear. Mejor, mejor. Por ahí, por ahí, por ahí. Ah, ahí está. Best, best. Ya llegándole a... Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Um... Ok, vamos a trabajar lo siguiente. We're going to our next one. Let's start. How often do you write memos? And do you give instructions to coworkers? That will be the two questions that we're going to socialize right here in the class. Vamos a discutir el siguiente. Let's start. ¿Qué a menudo escribes memos y si das indicaciones a otros compañeros? If you give instructions to other coworkers. Eso es lo que vamos a, vamos a escribir en este momento. We're going to socialize this part. And, and then we're going to work in pairs on that part. Meanwhile, you work in this activity and also the presentation is in the WhatsApp group and I will pass the attendant list. Just give me one moment. Thank you. 
Okay, well, we're going to pass the attendance list and uh, Ana Cecilia Martinez. And she's not. Ana Cecilia Reyes. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Brenda Beatriz Calderon. Present. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present, teacher. Uh, Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present. Uh, David Orlando Alvarez. Present. And Eliad Sael Matut. Oh, he's actually absent. And Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. He's not. No está Guillermo. Uh, Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Uh, Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Karen. Present. Eh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. No está. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Mauricio Enrique García. No está. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Mm, Mayra Veraliz. Present. Uh, Omar Francisco Hernández. Omar Francisco. No está yet. Um, Zaira. Present. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Maribel. Present, teacher. Okay. Jenny Suleima. Present. Y pues Loida viene. She's not there. Teacher. Yes. Solo quiero corroborar en la asistencia. Usted dijo Cecilia Reyes. Quiero ver si me lo puso a mí. Sí, sí, sí. No, se, la sí, se la puse, se la puse. Ah, ok. No pasa nada. <risa> sí, teacher, los minutos cuentan. Y yo quiero la beca para el otro módulo. Sí, no, sé aquí los tengo en la mira. Yo aquí estoy alerta aquí. <risa> okay. Teacher, yes. Teacher, después de que este, bueno, cuando estaba haciendo la lectura, es, usted se quedó con la imagen congelada por ahí, se lo desapareció y luego en mi casa se fue la, la energía. Sí, eh, pero aquí la puse ya. Ok, Entonces, gracias. Sí, sí. Ok, ok, sí que aquí estamos. Aquí está la asistencia. Muy bien. Eh, well, guys, well, let's continue. Let's continue with the with the class. I mean, it's like a, well, a little bit challenging because of the rains and all stuff. We're gonna try to work, and also we're going to practice. Okay. So we're still working. And how often do you write memos and do you give instructions to all other coworkers? Um, you please let me know, and if you have it or not. Me dicen si ya lo, ya lo avanzaron o todavía no. I'm ready. You ready? Ready. Okay. Cool. Nice, nice. Okay, we're going to have a, a couple of minutes. 
to socialize in trios and uh, this information. We're going to connect and you're going to ask your partners, um, how often do you write memos? And do you give instructions to our coworkers? How, how often do you write memos? Like once a week or twice a week? And um, do you give instructions to other coworkers? Yes, sometimes I give instructions to other coworkers. I give some information to them. So I need to give uh, instructions in order they can work in some activities. Vamos a formar los breakup rooms. Okay, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer uh, seven groups. Seven groups, okay. Y compartimos la, las preguntas en los tríos. Uh, quiero ver. Well, it's going to be in pairs. Va a ser en parejas en este caso. It's going to be in pairs. You will socialize the information. Let me see. Mm. That would be better. That would be better in trios. That would be just like a more, much better for this. Okay, let's go. Okay, you will have six minutes to work in this. Eh, vaya licenciado, la idea es de que hay dos preguntas eh, que están allí y hay que hacer la contestación. No sé si las tiene las preguntas o se las pasamos. Ah, ahorita está compartiendo el dicha. Esas son, mire, licenciado. Ok. okay. Eh, usted, Lili, ya okay. las tiene por casualidad las respuestas. Yes. Yes. ¿Gusta que le haga las preguntas? Yes. Ok. En todo lo que usted, le hago las preguntas, eh, usted redacta ahí, licenciado. Ok, de acuerdo. Ok, vamos. No. Miss Lily, how often do you write memos? Yes, I sometimes. Mm. Bueno, bueno. Eh, rápido y conciso. Eso es bueno. Pero, son tais, entonces. Sí, lo había escrito este, un poco más largo, pero... Ah, no, ahí, pero puede, no, puede decirnos también. La idea es de que lo expresen. Bueno, se lo voy a decir. Bye. Yes. Bueno, I, I agree. I agree. Mm, sometimes do you usually hip? Así lo había escrito, pero después mejor. No, no, está bien. Estilo, yes. Yeah. Sometimes, más rápido. O, also, also, es como, como... also, you can say, I, I sometimes write memos, period. So I sometimes write memos and you give the information clear. <laughs> ¿Le hago la siguiente pregunta? Yes. Okay. ok, sería. Do you often give instruction to other co-worker? Mm, bueno, igual lo escribí. Este, una respuesta rápida sería. Está bien, está bien. Yes. Yes. 
Eh, normally. Normalmente. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. ¿Te pregunto a usted? Vaya, vaya, está bien, por favor. Ok. How, how often do you eh, write memos? Ok, yo sí la, la escribo un poco más larga. Um, when I need to give indication of a new guideline to follow. Um, teacher, eh, una pregunta. Para ayúdeme a pronunciar esta palabra que, que no la logro eh, yes original. all right esta guideline así o como sería guideline 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 yes that's correct gui guideline yeah guideline yes that's correct ok lo que quise decir en mi caso eh, Lily es de que cuando necesito dar indicaciones de un nuevo lineamiento a seguir. Ok. Vale, si gusta, entonces... Eh... La hola, otra. Sí, por favor. Ok. Do you often give instruction to, to other co-workers? Co ¿Cómo se lee eso, teacher? Co-workers. Yes. Co-workers, co-workers. Co-workers, okay. Okay. Um, the answer sería, um, yo puse, uh, permítame, always that necessary. Bueno, lo que quise decir en este caso era siempre que sea necesario. ¿Cómo podría pronunciar? Así sería, ¿verdad? Always. It, that... Always it's necessary. Ah, um, always is necessary. It's necessary. Yes. Sí. Ok, gracias. Tomás Francisco, ¿está listo? Yes. Ok. Si gusta. I never report. Ah, right, memos es la cosa. Ah, pero sí, right, memos. La pregunta es, how often do you write memos? I never write memos, es verdad. In the others es, yes, I rarely get the instruction only. Get the instruction? Solo ahí, ¿verdad? Uh, no, the, uh, uh, the, other, uh, the other co-workers. Okay. So, so number one, how often do you write memos? I never write memos. Right, number two, did you often guide instructions to other co-workers? Yes, I rarely give instructions uh, with my co-worker. In your case, how often do you write memos? Uh, often, often, often write memos. Uh, do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Uh, yes, seldom. <laughs> Había puesto una respuesta en la Pero ahí estamos. Sí, mm. Cher. Ok. okay. Ah. Eh, pregúntame. Ok. Eh, José, how often do you write memos? 
I write memos one time a week. Okay, and do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Yes, I give instructions to my co-workers each day when I buy new products or be changes in old codes. <laughs> and you can, how often do you write memos? I hardly ever write memos. Do you often give instruction to other coworkers? Yes, usually give instructions to other uh, coworkers. For example, to to arrive new personnel and, and yeah, the, training. Uh, the arrival, the arrival of a new personnel. No. Mm. Uh, when, uh, when, cuando llega personal nuevo. The arrival, Training. the arrival of the new personnel. The arrival of the new personnel. Yes. But Karen is, is ah. the, Karen have a responsibility of training a new employees. Okay. Great. That's great. Nice, Karen. She's a, she's a trainer. She's a trainer in the company. I was a like you. What? <laughs> this, is the, this is the best the, the, the best part in mm -hmm. the old people. Sí, es divertido. Conoces a todos antes que los demás. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Hey. Teacher, instru instruction by para nosotros. Is a what? Instruction or direction for nosotros, para nosotros. For no, us. no, just. Uh, oh, just ¿cómo, lo, cómo, ¿Cómo lo podríamos decir como más, no sé, más estructurado, más, más, más bonito? Uh, but what phrase? What, what word? ¿Qué, ¿Qué frase? No sé de todo lo que dijimos. Hay algo que lo podríamos decir mejor. O, eh, esa, esa, that, that's what I told you, is the arrival. Because new, new, new arrival. Oh, New uh, new employees, new trainees, o new trainees también puede ser. Eh, new trainees son los que van a recibir el entrenamiento. Pero ¿por qué es arrival y no arrive? Porque arrive es llegar, es como verbo, y arrival es como hace función de sustantivo. Ah, es como I arrive. Ajá, entonces arrival es como llegada. Entonces es la llegada del personal, the arrival. Ajá. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Almost... Yes, it's understandable. Yes, it's understandable. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's good. It's good. Okay. Uh, almost finished or not yet? Almost, yes. finished. almost finished. Almost finished. finished. Okay. All right. Because we're going to go back exactly in one in two minutes okay okay thanks
Okay, okay, we came back. Uh, everybody, thanks for, you know, practicing here. So we're going to try to make it like more practical to all of you guys in this process. So what we have to do now is this. We're going to, well, uh, we're going to select some students to share the information here to everybody in the class. So I need one volunteer to help us to read this information. Un voluntario que nos, que nos dé sus respuestas. A volunteer that give us your answers. Who wants to help us? Me? Yes, please. Do me the favor. Yes. Yes. Um, All right. Uh, the question one, who often do you write memos? In my work, I write memos once a day. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, my company is it's a very useful tool in communication, in the memo to instructions such as cash and bowel process, or change in process, change in system, new contract with suppliers. It's uh, the memo is uh, used uh, so much. Okay. And uh, well, so in conclusion, you give instructions to coworkers. So you give in, you give these instructions to the coworkers. Yes. Oh, interesting. I give wow. instruction in memo. Nice. Wow. So that's awesome, David. That's really awesome. All right. Thank you so much. That was a great information. Okay, who else would like to share your information? Who wants to share what you have? One more, please, uh, before we move on to the next part of the class. Who wants to share what you have? Me, Wendy. Okay, okay Wendy, go ahead, Wendy. Pero tengo una duda. Okay. <laughs> que es, do you give instructions to other coworkers? No, frequently. Frequency. Use, use los adverbios de frecuencia. Uh, ¿Cuál sería un, un adverbio de frecuencia? Uh, I readily, I readily oh, okay. give instructions. Ah, oh, ok. Uh, es que la pregunta estaba, do you often? Habíamos copiado often con el compañero, mm. pero no lleva often, ¿no? Que solo es give, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero igual, o sea, puede usted usar las dos. Eh, o sea, uh, pueden usarse en el mismo contexto. Um, ok. How I... often? How often do you write memos? Uh -huh. I hardly ever write memos. Uh -huh. Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? I hardly ever give instructions to other co-workers. Excellent. That's great, Wendy. That was a great answer. I really like it. Yeah, so we, we know hardly ever do that. So that's cool. Okay, vamos con la siguiente parte. Let's go with the next part of the class. Uh, thanks everybody for practicing and sharing the information here in the class. And we have a conversation. It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a partner. Look at this one. We have uh, Marcia, please send this package. Um, so I want you to listen first and I want you to uh, power off the microphones and because we're going to listen to the conversation play. So uh, Mauricio, yeah, thank you. All right, so just listen first. This part is just for practice. And I want you to help me this. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation and then practice with a partner. Vamos con Marcia, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers please. Sure, here you go. Uh, oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. 
Ok, let's try one more time. Lo voy, lo voy a leer una vez más y luego la practicamos. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, now let's practice. I will read it twice and then you practice. Eh, lo leo una vez, lo leo dos veces y usted lo va a practicar. Así que we will focus with the check. Okay, let's go with the first one. One, two, and three. Please send this package. Please send this package. Now you guys. Number two, yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Okay, vamos con la siguiente. Actually, 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 yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Okay, siguiente. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, I will select two students for helping me to read this information. So I will request to Brenda Beatriz that helped me to read and also Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera and Brenda, you will help me with this conversation. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Please send this fast success. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. 
Sure, how are you all? And oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Excellent, good, very good. It was actually a great conversation. So I like the accent and also the information here. That was very, very awesome. Okay, so I really like it. All right, so we're going to choose Brian, Brian Javier. And also we're going to request to, let me see here, Jenny, Jenny and Brian. Hi, Marcia. Okay. Please send, please send these packages. Yes, mom. Do you need a knitting, Elsie? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of dozen memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Wow, that's awesome too. Congratulations, guys. It was a great conversation too. Um, I mean, you got it. So guys, you got this conversation and also it's very uh, simple and also very important for you guys. And before that we go on and practice with the partner, so I would like to ask you, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Questions, the vocabulary that perhaps you don't know? What's the context? I, uh, yes. I have a question. Uh, mom? What's the meaning about mom? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the meaning about mom is, as we say, misas. We say in Spanish, señora, misas, o mom. Oh. Es, una, es una manera formal para decir uh, señora, eh, mom. No vaya a, pens no le no vaya a pensar, eh, por, el, por la pronunciación, no vayan a pensar qué significa mamá, ¿verdad? Que le, mire, mamá, eso es like a mom. Eh, <risa> este, mire, me está diciendo mamá, ¿verdad? No, sino que es para decir mom, que es señora. Entonces, eh, se ocupa bastante en, en las conversaciones en inglés. Um, ok, how can I help you, mom? Eh, más que todo, se, se escucha bastante cuando hay conversaciones entre, eh, para negocios, para ventas, comercio, you go to the store, or for attending customers, you use the word uh, mom. Hello, good afternoon, mom. How can I help you? ¿Cómo está, señora? What else? The pronunciation de... <laughs> De la, de... pronunciation mom yes mom mom yes mom the pronunciation the this this word uh, uh, packet uh, in Marcia present this a uh, package 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 yes it's package package that's correct right away that's cool <laughs> all right guys actually i like it because it's almost like you know you know mom it's actually it's mom like hello mom okay um any other questions about vocabulary ¿Alguna otra pregunta sobre el vocabulario? Por ejemplo, la palabra right away. Right away significa inmediatamente. Right away. <laughs> Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Entonces, eh, eso significa right away, inmediatamente. So that's the word. Ok. No more for that. Okay, we're going to practice the, we're going to practice um, in this moment a uh, conversation. Vamos a practicar la conversación and we're going to do it in pairs. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas en este momento, así que vamos a formarnos en parejas para practicarla. We will have five minutes, no more than that because we don't have like uh, enough time for this. Pero sí, lo están pronunciando muy bien. Veo que están, están pronunciando súper bien. I like it and I feel more confident. Ya después va a ser mucho más fácil para ustedes el poder, eh, va a ser mucho, mucho más fácil para ustedes pronunciar las palabras, porque ya van agarrando el estilo, cómo se pronuncian. Entonces, vamos muy bien.
Ok, así que practicamos la conversación. We have six minutes to work in this. Eh, Ay, qué bueno que entró el teacher. Teacher, eh, la pronunciación. que comparta la, 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 pues, la lámina. Ah, él ah la, no. creo que la va a poner. Ah, igual yo, yo acá la tengo. Este, okay. La pronunciación de eh, Yes, Mom, do you need a night team? ¿Está bien así o es diferente? Uh, yes, Mom, do you need anything? Any, anything. Any, anything. anything. Con Z, anything. Do you need anything? Thing, thing. Anything. anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Okay. Do you, yes, that's correct. Zaira. Anything. Yeah. Entonces, Marcia, entonces, Zaira. Sí. Eh, repeat. Usted es Marcia, le digo, soy yo. Ok. Soy Marcia. Vale, pues, comienza. Please send this. Uh, un momentito, un momentito. Package. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me once a uh, those memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Hoy uh, comienza usted. Yes. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need an anything? Anything. Uh, anything. Perdón, perdón. Comienzo. Yes, mom. Do you need anything? Else, else, esta no sé cómo se pronuncia. Anything, Teacher, anything else. Anything, no, la, lo que sigue, else. Else, else. Así está bien, else. Yes, it's okay, yes. Comentarle que por segunda vez se me había ido la energía y volví a entrar y me perdí de, la, de las instrucciones. Oh, y... my God. Sí, no se preocupe, porque sí está fallando en algunas zonas, así que don't worry, yeah. don't worry, yeah. Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new date for the general, me general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go, oh, and look, please, supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Yes. Please. Cambiamos otra yes. vez. Please send this packet. Packet. Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about in the date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of the those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new enter. Absolutely. 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 Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Así es, ¿verdad? Absolutely. Sí. Yes, yes, it is. That's the way. Sí. Comience. Comience, David. Bueno. Sí. Comienzo. Here you go, or oh, and look, the supervisor, the supervisor, the new interns. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Please set this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo sticker place. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, you supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Y ahora yo soy Marcia. Yes. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those of memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually. Yes, please write a memo about the new day for general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Supervise. No le oí. Faltó supervise. Sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Here you go, oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Teacher, your phone. Teacher, your micro. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. I, I, I just click. I just click, and I, and I thought that is, it was like, active, but it wasn't. So that was that was weird. Okay, guys. Uh, congratulations, congratulations to everybody because of the incredible presentation. That was really cool. I really like it, and it was really awesome. I was, I was listening to all of you guys uh, talking and practicing the conversations. Wow. Sounds very, very, very awesome. Very professional. I mean, I really like it. And I was, I was, I was reading, uh, I think it was a, let me see the, let me see the names. And I, I was reading uh, uh, Jose Rodrigo and Mayra. I was reading that. And, and I mean, they sound very, very nice. I, I thought that, I, that we were in a call. I, I, good. Microphone. The microphone. I said, thanks. Okay, so congratulations. All of you did a great job today. Now we're going to do something like this. Look at this. 
figure it out. Complete the following commands. Use the conversation about as reference. For example, the number one, a memo about a new date. Number two, me on those stickers. Number three, the new interns. So you had to look for in the conversation previously, what commands exactly match for each statement here, what we have. So help me to check. Ayúdeme a revisar cuál comando uh, from this conversation match this. Check this, please. Teacher, the first is right. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes, yes. The first is right. Yeah, like this, look at this. Right, write a memo about a new day. Okay. Okay. Number two is give. The number three supervise. Supervise, yes. Supervised the new interns. Okay, so we just have right given supervised, those are commands. So you are like uh, guiding people to do some kind of stuff, some kind of jobs. And also you were asking what's the meaning about interns? Um, do you know the term pasantes? Han escuchado la palabra pasantes? In a, yes, in a, yes. So, yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. yes. So in terms in Spanish is like pasantes. That they make a kind of service in a company. So that's why they, they are called in uh, interns. And also I was listening to Karen that she was like training people and uh, she was well, taking care about people. So that, that was actually good. Uh, One second. Okay. All right, that's okay. Let's continue, guys. All right, let's continue, guys, with, the, with this part right here. And also, after we practice, we go with this one, commands. What are commands and also the roles? So Karen, help me to read, please. Comments are direct instruction or orders to do something. Use please plus the command to sound more polite, e.g. Please place an order for more boxes Call the supervisor, please. This is very important. Okay, for example, that some of you guys are like uh, bosses. For example, you have uh, the opportunity to guide people in a job. Eh, lo mejor es siempre utilizar el please. Es muy formal. These are commands, are direct instructions or orders to do something. Eso es un command. ¿Qué es un command? Es dar una instrucción, dar un orden o hacer algo, una indicación. That's what we call about command. And also we're going to use places very acceptable here because it's like a more formal. No es lo mismo que yo le diga, eh, Mauricio, read, or, no, do this. Mauricio, do this. Okay, you're like giving an order, but 
it's important to use the word please because it's more polite. Es más educado utilizar el, el please, el por favor. ¿Dónde puede ir please? ¿Puede ir al inicio o puede ir al final? Por ejemplo, please place an order for more boxes. Oh, call the supervisor, please. Can you write the report, please? Oh, please, can you write the report? Um, could, you, could you open the door, please? Please, could you open the door? Entonces, usamos eh, lo que son ese please más el command para hacer una oración bastante formal. Eh, because sometimes it could be like a kind of road in a job, en un trabajo, por ejemplo, en la job. Y usted le diga a alguien, mira, hacer esto, do this. I mean, it's like a... Eh, that would be a little informal, but you can say it in a polite way. And that can help, right? Entonces, eso le llamamos please. Eh, plus the command and everything. Vamos con el siguiente ejercicio. But before, I need to pass the attendant list again. Vamos a ver. Eh, one more time. We're going to pass the attendant list. Ana Cecilia Martínez. No Ana Lilia Reyes. Ana Lilia Reyes. Eh, ok. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Eh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Ok. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Present. Thanks. Uh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Eliad Sael Matut. Oh, yeah. Eh, Guillermo Antonio García. Mm. One second, one second. Uh, Guillermo Antonio García. No está, ¿verdad? Uh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Ok. Uh, José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Uh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Uh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Santos. Mauricio. Present teacher. Present okay. teacher. Ok. Um, Mauricio Enrique García. Mauricio Enrique García. No está. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Eh, Mayra Berlis Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Omar. Yes. Ok, ok, ok. Um, Saira Marlene Larín. Present. Uh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Eh, Wendy. Eh, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's continue, guys, talking a little bit about... Sorry. Uh... Present. Okay. I saw that. <laughs> problem. <laughs> Technical problem. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know what is that. Say que es eso. Okay. All right, let's go. And well, so we're going to, we're, I, I will share, I will share in the process uh, a kind of conversation. It's about commands. So just give me one second, please. Just give me, give me one brief second. One moment. One second. Um, I, 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 time ago, well, there was a link that we were going to socialize in the class. So just one moment, please. Just um, have me patient for that. It's because I, I updated a kind of link. There was a link about a listening exercise, but I will, I will attach it into the group. Just give me one moment, please. Give me one, one moment. Thank you. What, let's see what happened here with this uh, statement. One second.
I'm sorry. It's because I was I, I got it. I got this link and I just sent it by email to share with you guys, but I didn't I didn't find it and I don't know what happened with that. Well, les voy a compartir por este medio el, el enlace para que usted pueda ver este video. I want you to watch it. Eh, one second. This goes to everybody. Eh, I want you to check this, eh, this eh, video. So it's very interesting. Oh, do you want me to send it by, by the WhatsApp? O se los mando por el WhatsApp. No sé si lo pueden ab abrir acá o se los mando por el WhatsApp. Mejor aquí, lo abrir acá. Okay, lo pueden ver desde acá. Okay, perfect. Much better to me. All right. Después lo mando. <laughs> okay, necesito que vean el video y vamos a responder la, la siguiente parte, right? Eh, listen to the audio and say what commands were mentioned in the video. That's the instructions. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. What commands? You can see in the video. So let's see here with us. Keep working there. Hello, students. Pónganle, pónganle a micrófono. Ánimo, chicos, ánimo. Está bien bonito el video, está súper bonito. Very beautiful.
Ok, uh, you let me know when you finish, cuando terminen me avisan, oye. Está para verlo varias veces, dicho. Muy interesante. Yeah, it's interesting, definitely. It's very interesting. No lo puedo descargar. <laughs> Ahí está procesando. <laughs> en serio, no, pero no es necesario descargarlo. Le pido. No, o sea, no se puede ver. Pues. Ah, es que es la... Mi internet es demasiado lento. Ready. Excellent. All right. So, um, okay, first, I would like to listen. As you know, we, we can share this information with, um, with more details, and, but I would like to ask you before, and uh, what was the, this information? What are the, the examples that we could see? ¿Cuáles son los commands that you could listen? ¿Qué comandos pudieron escuchar? Cuéntenme. Stand up. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Sit down, yes, please. Uh -huh. Take your Bias. book. Take open your her book. Take oh. out. Uh -huh. Come okay. here. Come Sit down. Come here. Close your book. Close your book. All right. Take your, take your homework. So that's actually great. That was actually great. Thank you. So those are very common comments that people can use, especially in a conversation. So people can like socialize some information here in the conversation. So that was that was actually very, very important to work in that. And also, do you use those commands, guys? Do you use those commands in your job? Do you use those commands in your job? ¿Usan estos comandos en su trabajo? Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes you use those commands for your job. Usually. Usually. You usually use those commands, right? That's the pending kind of job so you can talk about. All right. So let's go to with the next parts right now. And after the, these comments, and also that we can socialize, it says. Tal vez how... lo puede mandar al grupo, teacher. No pude verlo. Más lo que me iba a sacar de Zoom, mejor lo apague. Okay. Also, by any chance, I will send it to you. By any chance, you can find it in the manual. In the manual, también puede encontrar el link. Eh, también está ahí, eh, correspondiente to this thing. But I, I will send it. Look at this. No, I go. Hola. ¿Qué pasó? Ok, ¿me escuchan? Yes. Awesome. So clear. Excellent, that's yes. cool. Ok, Jenny, can you help me to read the information in, that we see here? Can you help me, uh, Jenny? Yes. Um, how to use, command to order, or tell someone no, to, do, to do something. You listen to me? Yes. Yes. Yo creo que, yes. Creo que, la, creo que quizás tiene yes. problemas con, con, con la conexión porque dice que no escucha. Sí. Um, please, write a check. Send a memo. Check the reports. Supervise the employees. Go to a meeting. Excellent. Excellent. That will be check a report. Check a report. Yeah, so that's actually, it's very, very interesting about this one. So look at this one, guys. So we, we can have some memos like a check, please. And also there, there is something that I like that you say, please, we always use the word please because it's actually very, very formal. So it is recommendable actually to use it. Please do this one, please do this. 
So music is very formal. Send a memo, please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Please monitor this process. Please check this out. So we're going to work on that. Now, and uh, we're going to move to the next part. This is the, the last activity. We actually go, go to the last activity of this day. And uh, well, one second. It says pair work, brainstorm. Six, six things your classmate boss needs him or her to do tomorrow. So you're going to think about what possible things. Think about it. Think about it. This is actually very interesting. And uh, you will think about what your boss is going to need. And for this, look at this one. What do you think your classmate's boss want him or her to do tomorrow? ¿Qué es lo que le va a pedir su jefe el día de mañana? Va a escribir seis cosas que podrían ser las que su jefe eh, vaya a solicitar. That is, that is the instructions. And in this case, we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Eh, I don't know if is that clear to you. No sé si está clara la instrucción. Yes, teacher. Excellent. So, en parejas usted va a hacer una lista de aquellas cosas que su jefe le vaya a pedir mañana. Por ejemplo, eh, one of them that comes into my mind is, eh, what do you think, your classmate? Eh, please check the attendance list of the students. Es algo que me va a pedir mi, mi jefe. So, please check the attendance list of my students. Please monitor the participation of the student in class. Please eh, be in the meeting on time. Eh, please, o podemos poner please al final. Eh, verify the documents that are appropriate in order, please. Entonces va a escribir seis cosas que su jefe le va a pedir el día de mañana y las vamos a compartir en parejas. Así que vamos a, a trabajar en los breakout rooms. And then we're going to socialize this information. Eh, dice, no sé si Wendy todavía tiene dificultades con el, creo que con el audio, no sé. Dice que no escucha nada. She doesn't listen anything. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, guys, are you ready? ¿Estamos listos? Are you ready? Ready. Excellent. Ok. Entonces vamos a tener unos minutos eh, to share this information. Let's go. Mauricio Ernesto. Mauricio Ernesto. Me perdí todo lo último, no sé en qué estoy. Eh, vamos a trabajar en los breakup rooms en este momento. Eh, ah, ok. Entonces, eh, vamos a compartir. No había nada. Sí, posiblemente quizás la señal. Eh, en el, uh -huh. en el, eh, eh, vamos, a, vamos a trabajar en parejas. No sé si le aparece ahí una indicación para unirse a un grupo. No. Ahí le mandé la invitación con Cristian, Ernesto Lazo. O sea, ahí no le aparece nada ahí. No. No. Sure. No. Hola, hola. 
I'm alone. Oh, eh, está, aquí está, aquí está. lo que pasa es que Wendy, con, con Wendy, acepte la invitación. Acepte la invitación, because you were together. I don't have invitation. Mm, one second. Let's do something. Let's go to number six. What about now? Hmm. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, everybody's in their rooms. There is a group that they go to, so let's see what they are doing. We're going to visit one team right now. Okay, we're going to join this group. Let's see what happens. Difficult malas palabras, de verdad. Teacher. Yes, uh, I'm here to help you. If you have any question, uh, you let me know. Aquí solo cómo la podemos cómo podemos formular porque no podemos decir ella me va a pedir tal cosa. Can you see their screen? Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, yes. Las vas, okay, let's va a ser, por ejemplo, como esta, uh, like the ones we have here. Uh, please, uh, ah. Jose, send the check. Please uh, revise, so like this, como esta. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, or using please, because it's like the most formal way to, to express you know, like this one. Y cambiar monedas, como se dice? <laughs> eh, change, change coin, change money, change coin. Change mo ch change money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the chat. Look at the chat, please. Uh, look at the chat. Thank you, teacher. All right. Teacher, is correct. Eh, lo siguiente my, bo my boss asked me to pay for the merchandise please lo que quiere decir es que mi jefe me, pe me pedirá que costee o que prorratee un producto que, que nos va a ingresar mañana y que necesitamos despachar qué interesante vamos a ver cómo lo formulamos solo que Okay, one second. I was actually looking for, ah, well, somebody was joining the, the breakup rooms. Entonces ya lo estaba ubicando en un lugar, so I was actually um, looking for. This second. Yeah, so just one second. Um, okay, so, en palabras exactas, the boss. The Will request. At two, boss will request to, eh, y, ahí le, y ahí usted pone que 
Please. Otra cosa, the boss will request like this uh, to okay. teacher. O sea, el jefe me pedirá, the boss will request. Yes. Teacher. All right. No sé si está bien esto. Uh, please send this document at clinic. Okay, at the clinic. Yeah, please send the document at the clinic. Yes. Ah, uh, the, the, no es uh -huh. this. At the clinic. Eh, usa, usa this para decir este. O sea, para especificar, Ajá. pero pero especifica Ajá, es. que, pero que es este. Pero si es, este documento. A entonces, la uh, please to the at the clinic. This document at clinic. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Uh, y para decir este. Re, reúne a los compañeros y a please meetings siempre no meet meet uh -huh. please mean uh, do you do you call co-workers sería o también meet. si usted organiza una si usted está organizando una fiesta, entonces usted va a decir, please, arrange, arrange a meeting, que significa, por favor, organiza una, una reunión, si usted lo quiere hacer. Porque, ajá, me pide a veces que le llame a mis compañeros para una reunión, o sea, nos va a regañar. Please. Ok, <ríe> entonces póngale, arrange a meeting, uh, please, arrange a meeting. Arrange. With your partners, with your partners, or with your workers, co-workers. Mm -hmm. Try with that. Please. Arrange. Me. Me with. With you. Co-workers. Please call me. Por favor, llámame. Uh -huh. Siempre me dice eso. Please call okay. me. Ok. All right. Esa es otra también. Incluye la in the um, list. Um, please. O a veces me dice, por favor, llámame a tal profesor. Es que yo trabajo en un colegio. Entonces me dice, llámame al profesor tal. Me dice. Please. Okay, that that's okay. So you can you can use it. Yes, you can use it. Porque lo que pasa es de que estaba con, con Zaira y la sacó, creo que se le fue la conexión, me quedé solo y después a mí me sacó. Bueno, pero aquí estamos ya. Ok, entonces David, pregúnteme. Ah, no, yo te... sí, va. Yeah, sí. Pregúnteme. What do you think your classmate boss but him her to do her to do tomorrow? I think that my boss 
Uh, wants to me tomorrow first check the track number two. Number two, supervise their right to the suppliers. Number three, write a report for the activity of this night. Number four, send product to Metapan. Number five, go to the other warehouse. And number five, go to social security for my COVID vaccine. Vaccine, COVID vaccine. COVID vaccine. I don't, I no, no conocía la palabra, por eso inventé vacun. Está <laughs> bien. Está buena esa palabra inventada. For example, eh, vacuna es eh, vaccination. En este caso, vaccination, que es como vacunación. Y vaccine, que es la va vacuna. The vaccine. Vaccine. For the COVID. The for the tomorrow COVID. is my is my day for for is, my is the appointment COVID. for the vacuum or for the vaccination right cool so you will be vaccinated you will be vaccinated all right i i just i had the first i have the first in the first quote uh, yeah i have the first vacuum so on may i had to go back for the second one yeah all right, cool. but the but the effect is for uh, sixty days. No? Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't. Have, I didn't have effects. I, I didn't have effects. No, 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 no. Oh, el, el, la pro, esa, el efecto total para estar inmune noventa y cinco por ciento es hasta dentro de sesenta días. No es mañana ni, ni pasado. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> All right, continue, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. I uh, you guys, come on. Uh, David, tienen las tuyas uh, tu respuesta por casualidad. Yes. Yes. David, what do you think your classmate boss want her hand to the tomorrow? Uh, I think uh, my boss is a uh, give you a uh, my boss will ask me for your insurance report. Uh, number two. Uh, to send an emails giving instruction to the bosses. The number three, he will ask me for the report. Number four, follow up on the new hires. Number five, uh, personal action for promotions. In number six, performance evaluations. Okay, interesting. Performance evaluation, eh, dijiste, David. Sí. Eso viene siendo como... Evaluaciones de desempeño. Ah, ok, qué buena palabra. Performance, lo voy a anotar, está interesante. Sería como... Um, teacher, clima laboral, se dice en español, pero en inglés. Eh, like a job environment or work environment. Work job environment. Work environment, ambiente laboral. Okay. Christian, what do you do yes. think your boss wants to do tomorrow? Okay, my boss wants uh, I I give I give her que yo le entregue a él sería I give 
¿Cómo sería que yo le entregue a él, eh, teacher? Disculpe. Please eh, bring, que es como dar o entregar. Please bring. Pero que le entregue a él, al mi jefe. ¿Cómo podría decirlo? Eh, please. Eh, bueno, lo puede hacer general. ¿Qué, okay. ¿Qué va a entregarle? ¿Qué le va a entregar? Eh, un reporte acerca de las fechas de vencimiento de productos. Ok, for example, you say, please eh, bring the dates, sería las fechas, o the report with the dates about the expirations. Ok, excelente, cabal, algo así había puesto. About the expiration dates. The expiration date of the leather gloves. Ok, yes. gracias, gracias, gracias. Ok, cool, that's ok. okay. Eh, second, eh, Need a inventory of the choose line. Que sería un inventario de una línea de calzado que tenemos. Eh, third, sería prepare purchase, purchase order ready for early in the tomorrow. Preparar las órdenes de compra temprano en la mañana. Four. I need, uh, please, I need to arrive early to the company. Que necesita que llegue temprano a la empresa. Eso sería. ready Okay guys we en todo we... caso José ¿Qué le había dicho? Sí, verdad. Sí. Do you want to, I repeat? Proceda, Jose. Hello. Hello, hello. Marisol. Hi, teacher. Eh, ¿Qué pasó? Nos, no, nos sacó. Nos, no sé, quizás sí. Reunión. No, todavía estamos en los breakup rooms, todavía estamos en los, en los grupos. Ay, es que nosotros nos salimos porque ya eran las 10. Sí. Dijimos que nos había dejado ahí. No, no, no. Sí, ahorita estamos ya eh, cerrando los breakup rooms. Es que ah, ok. Y yo estaba en... con Mauricio y no sé qué se hizo. Ah, aquí está en un grupo con José, quiero ver, con Wendy. <risa> 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 Quizás lo sé. Ah, that's weird because. But we're about to finish because the time is actually going on. So um, we pass the attendance list and we leave. And also, just I think everybody's about to go. Bien. Eh, Bien, vamos a pasar la asistencia rapidito, así que please help me with that and uh, we're going to go because we are uh, actually out of the time. Um, one moment, one moment. So we're going to pass the attendance list. It's actually loading for the second time. And also we, we, we were like socializing information in, in the teams. That was very, very interesting. All of you guys uh, practicing about what to do. Bien, pasamos la lista y culminamos. Eh, vamos a ver, quiero ver. Eh, vamos a ver, un segundo. Ok, Ana Cecilia no está. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Eh, Brian Javier Carmona. 
Present. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Present. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Eliat Zael Matut. No está. Eh, Guillermo Antonio García. Tampoco está. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Estaba, ¿verdad? Ya no. Ya no, ¿verdad? Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Estaba, teacher. Ajá, estaba. Creo ¿verdad? que lo pusieron conmigo y, sí, y se salió, se le, como que se salió igual que de la compañera que me había puesto. Se le fue la señal y ya no aparecieron. Ok, ok. Eh, Mauricio, quiero ver, Mauricio Enrique García. No está. Eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Mayra Veraliz. Present. Eh, Omar Francisco. Present. Eh, Zaira Marleni. Zaira. Wendy. And Wendy. And Present, teacher. And, okay, and Jenny. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you guys for okay. this. Thank you guys for this time. I know it's actually more than the time, but thank you for the participation, for the practice. Um, en, le corresponde a Guillermo este día, pero bueno, no está. Entonces, ¿alguien más que vaya a cubrir a, a Guillermo en, es, en su hora? Because he's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Thank you, Karen. Okay, guys. Okay. Thank you so much for the time. Have a beautiful night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. See you Good tomorrow. Good night, Good night, everybody. Good night. Bless you. Good night. See you. See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bless you. you too. God bless you to all of you guys. Okay, Karen. We're going to start. We're going to start. And also, we have the opportunity to have a backup about the last topics. What topics you didn't understand? And Karen, tell me. To, that you would like to reinforce. ¿Qué temas? Micrófono, 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 Karen. <laughs> ok, ya. Yeah. Okay. Este, bueno, me cuesta usar lo del tú y el das. No sé por qué, pero me cuesta usarlo. Era, creo que la, va, veamos si es la cuatro. Quiero ver, vamos a buscar la presentación. To have like a short backup. Mm. Ajá, porque sí, eso, eso sí, sí me cuesta y no sé por qué. Mm -hmm. me estoy Pero el do, el doesn't o el negativo o en afirmativo. Todo. ¿Cómo okay. le digo que todo? Oh my God, that's, that's weird. <risa> <risa> qué extraño eso, Karen. Eh, okay. O sea, lo uso y en lo que lo uso son cosas que realmente yo ya sé, o sea, frases más comunes, que ya sé cómo usarlas. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Eh, quiero ver si puedo verla, compartir la presentación para que podamos, like, you no, know, have a backup, un pequeño repaso. And, uh, well, it's, it's loud in here, the presentation, so let's see what happens, veamos qué sucede. Ahora resulta, vamos a ver. Mm. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, el how many y el how much es así, ¿verdad? Sí, eso está claro. Ok, entonces tiene que ser la 5. Has to be the number 5. Vamos a ver. The presentation about the present review. Yes, it's actually this one. Ok, one moment. Ok, eh, estábamos estudiando lo que es el uso del do y el does. Uh, let me show you here the presentation. Es de the number five. So, cuando usamos el do y el does en eh, negative form. Eh, uh -huh. en, afir en afirmativo sabemos que utilizamos el do para los pronombres, por ejemplo, que son primera persona, segunda persona y los plurales. Y usamos el does o el doesn't cuando es tercera persona en singular como nombres como María, por ejemplo, María does not work in HPBC. Marcos does not say stay late at work. O sea, Marcos no se queda. Ocupamos el does not o doesn't. 
y Juan en Pedro do not write reports. Veamos como la tabla general cómo se vería. Ok, acá, ahí está. Look at this. Ahí puede ver usted cómo utilizarlos. Por ejemplo, eh, para decir I don't, I do not, o I don't. You do not, you don't. He doesn't, usamos como es tercera persona en singular, él, ella y ello. Estos tres siempre van a llevar el does. Eh, does not or doesn't, que es lo mismo. Eh, she does not or she doesn't. Para decir que ella no trabaja, she doesn't work. Yo no trabajo, I don't work. Tú no trabajas, you don't work. Ellos no trabajan, they don't work. Usamos el don't y el doesn't porque para forma negativa el doesn't nos sirve como un auxiliar. Es un auxiliar. O sea, nosotros en español no lo usamos, pero en inglés sí se ocupa. Yo quiero decir que yo no estudio, digo yo no estudio. Y ahí está. Pero en inglés es... I do not study. I don't study. Uh -huh. I, oh, don't okay. know. I don't study. Los dos es igual. Uno es la forma normal y, y completa y la otra es en forma contractada. Para hablar ocupan más la forma contractada. I don't study. She doesn't study. You don't play video games. He doesn't play video games. Entonces vamos viendo como oraciones que van llevando esa estructura. Veamos este siguiente ejemplo que tengo acá. Look at the examples that we have here. Veamos este ejemplo and you help me with this. Ok, veamos este siguiente ejemplo. Facts. Eh, para realidades, por ejemplo, teachers don't perform an important role in society. Un ejemplo, por ejemplo. Usamos el teachers don't. Don't que no tienen como una, un rol. Un ejemplo. Hablamos de hábitos. I don't usually wake up at 8 o'clock. En este caso, eh, vemos que dice I don't usually. O sea, que yo no me levanto temprano usualmente. Entonces, so, vemos ahí un ejemplo. Ah, en eso tengo una duda. Yes. Hay algún problema. Yes. Vaya, en este caso es I don't usually. Pero lo podría decir Usually I don't wake up at 8 o'clock. O sea, mm. también algo que... que I don't usually. Uh, I usually don't. Como decir, eh, por lo general, cuando va en forma negativa, se ocupa más después del don't. I don't usually. Si es en afirmativo, oh, oh, digo... Oh, oh, no habrá problema. Ajá, es que más que todo por, por formalidad se ocupa eh, que les, si es negativo, primero va el don't y después va el usually. I don't usually play video games. She doesn't usually eh, go to the gym, for example. Si es afirmativo, sí. I, I usually wake up at 8 o'clock. Pero cuando es en negativo, primero va el don't y después va el adverbio de frecuencia. Okay. Okay. ok. My boss doesn't go to the gym twice a week. ¿Por qué aquí usé el doesn't? Eh, porque es... No sé. Eh, porque es una persona en singular, en tercera persona. My boss. O sea, que estoy hablando de esta persona en tercer lugar. Entonces usamos el my boss doesn't. Pero si yo quisiera decir jefes, mis jefes don't, porque ya es plural. Vamos con la siguiente. We don't go to the cinema too much. We don't go to the cinema too much. Es decir, nosotros no vamos al cine mucho. Ajá, eso es, ajá. ¿Por qué es en plural entonces? Ajá. Es el don't y no doesn't. Así es. Y cuando es, por ejemplo, primera persona o segunda persona, veamos el uh, informal. Don't go straight and don't turn left. Es decir, no vayas recto y no te cruces a la izquierda. Entonces, aquí la, la forma sería, please, don't go straight. Para que sea formal, tendríamos que utilizar la please. Eh, usamos el please para que sea bastante polite. Entonces, don't restart your mobile phone. Mobile phone, please. Don't restart your mobile phone. No reinicies tu teléfono móvil. Don't dedicate yourself to your studies. Entonces, vamos viendo cómo va variando la estructura. Entonces, es como el ejemplo que nosotros podemos eh, compartir. 
veamos la siguiente. Let's, let's go to the next. Ahí está. Eh, veamos donde dice permanent situations. Eh, help me to read. Ayúdenme a leer, por favor. Eh, ok. I don't live in Russia. She doesn't work in police station. The doctor doesn't study math. Ok, look at example. Yeah, look at example. Eh, ¿Por qué en la segunda usamos she doesn't? Eh, porque es tercera persona. Exactly, that's cool. Y en la tercera, eh, the doctor doesn't study math. También es tercera persona. Exactly, that's cool. Aunque el, el doesn't no tenga ningún significado, pero en la gramática sirve como un auxiliar. Por eso es que lo ocupamos uh -huh. como un auxiliar. Y plan future. Vamos con el plan future. Um, I don't start my new job on 17 June. ¿Cómo sería acá? Ayúdenme a leer. Ayúdenme a leer. Ayúdenme a leer, porfa. Help me to read. I don't start my new job on 17 June. The exam period doesn't end on 24 December. Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. Exactly. Entonces, si usted se fija, siempre vamos utilizando el I don't, you don't, he doesn't, she doesn't, he doesn't. Entonces, eh, es una estructura muy interesante realmente que va variando eh, actually the process. So, it's going to be very, very, very practical. It's like, a, we, we know that. Eh, the exam period doesn't end, o sea, doesn't porque estamos usando la estructura. I don't start my new job. Entonces, eh, prácticamente es como ir viendo las estructuras. Aquí sus compañeros hicieron el ejercicio de ir agregando ya sea doesn't, si es según el pronombre. María. En casi todas de esas. Ok, por ejemplo. Cuando lo hicimos. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Ok, por ejemplo, dice Sarah eh, doesn't like potatoes. En ese caso, Sarah doesn't, o sea, que ella no le gusta. Peter mm -hmm. doesn't. María Eliana don't. Porque es plural. Es my plural. dogs. Ajá, my dogs. Es plural. The frog. Eh, en este caso, como es singular, es it doesn't live. Or garden. Doesn't look very nice. Porque es un jardín. Entonces es singular. The children. Es plural. Los niños. Entonces We, también me voy a guiar por el contexto. Ajá. Ajá. Exacto. Los niños. The children. Eh, we don't know the answer. And they don't work very hard. Entonces vamos viendo cómo es estructura. No sé si hoy ya queda un poquito, un poquitito más claro, no mucho. ¿Cómo, cómo ve la situación ahí? Sí, creo que me ayudaría mucho el hecho de que tal vez yo hubiera podido prestar más atención en mis clases de lenguaje. No, pero está bien. O sea, creo que es bastante... O sea, se va guiando por eso, por los pronombres. Sí. Singular doesn't, plural don't. Right? In English. So, that is actually important. Ok. ¿Y sí. cómo se ha sentido? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en este módulo? ¿Cómo, cómo ha visto The Progress? Mm, me gusta, puedo, ya puedo estructurar más palabras, puedo hablar más frases, más palabras, más frases. Ya, ya, como que ya hablo un poquito más, uh -huh. ya no me quedo tan callado. Porque okay. si es de leer, era, lo leo, no hay problema, pero cuando es de estructurarlo, ahí sí me, me costaba un poquito más. Ahora, igual me cuesta, pero menos. Ok, eso es importante. Siempre es importante poder eh, avanzar en uh -huh. la estructura y eso es bueno. Así que pues me alegra muchísimo. You know, I'm really happy for you because we can see the progress. Estamos viendo el progreso, the advance you do. And also, if you have questions, you have to ask, right? Ask questions, participate in the class. And it's going to be very important to focus about that. Eh, no sé, alguna otra pregunta? Okay. Any, other, any other question? Besides, we finish. Mm, yes. okay. Ahorita no. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, Karen, eh, tenemos la ventaja de que eh, está muy bien en pronunciación y eso es bueno porque a muchos cuest les cuesta la pronunciación, pero usted tiene esa ventaja de que puede manejar lo que es de pronunciación y le da bastante fluidez. Y eso, eso es bueno. Cuando va adquiriendo más vocabulario, más la fluidez, el inglés se escucha más bonito, más nítido, más natural. Y todo eso se puede lograr a través de la práctica. Así que mi consejo es que siga practicando. Keep on practicing. Work so hard. And also eh, check the material. Eh, también es importante que complete los ejercicios. Porque estaba viendo 
que eh, en, los, ah. en los homework, no, lo, no sé si no los completa o por qué no le aparece el 100. Le aparece... Le aparece ah. uh -huh. Pero check. sí me sale que están al 100. Check, check the a information. Mí me salen completos. Ya vamos a revisar el último, porque a mí me había parecido que era 80. Como que o no tal sé vez si... sea... No, tal vez sea porque yo, vaya, el de la clase de hoy no lo respondo hoy. Probablemente es porque lo respondo cuando ya acumulo tres. Oh my God. Cuando te, te paso vos, <risa> es que me sirve para repasar. <risa> oh my God. Oh my no lo respondo el mismo día, porque el mismo día... O sea, el mismo día yo lo tengo como fresco. Entonces, mm. no sé si realmente lo sé o si solamente lo, memo, lo, lo retuve o lo memoricé por un momento. Entonces, okay. por eso me gusta hacerlo un día después. Un día después no es que yo lo atrase por, porque sea tenida, no. Lo retraso porque me sirve para repasar. Ah, ok. Eso está bien. Por ejemplo, hoy, ahorita, voy a hacer el del lunes y el de hoy. Hoy es martes, por favor. Uh, yes, yes. <ríe> Es ah, pues. martes. Excelente. Ah, pues entonces ahí usted va jugando con uh -huh. los tiempos y pues la cosa es que vaya ahí también eh, refrescando cada día las, las actividades. Así que, bueno, eh, thank you so much. Le agradezco de verdad por, por el tiempo y nos veremos en la siguiente clase. We see you okay. in the next class. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and I will be more than happy to help you in this process. Ok. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, you too. Thank you.